The LA Chargers are going to be faced with a major decision here, and it'll be interesting to see what they do. Jim Harbaugh, we know, wants to run the football, wants to do it in an efficient manner. I don't think he just runs to run. Um, he didn't do that at Michigan. He didn't. He he runs to set things up. He really is committed to doing to running the ball, but doing it in an efficient way. So makes me wonder. Chargers here we're looking at. They did an article 90 and 90, basically looking at the 90 men on the roster right now in 90 days. Elijah Dotson is a running back that's being way overlooked. No one's really talking about him in somewhat rightfully so. And so the big decision they're going to have to make is what running backs are they going to keep on this roster? Because you've got an interesting situation brewing where you've got Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins. Then you drafted vidal here in the sixth round of this year's draft so dotson has to now get ahead of isaiah spiller and Jarrett patterson who do you keep if you are the chargers let me know your thoughts in the comments obviously these first two guys but then you've got an injury prone jk dobbins and a rookie vital vidal and then you've got dotson who is 5'9 200 pounds northern colorado he signed a one-year deal last year made the team Signed another one-year, $1 million deal. Dotson possesses the, the receiving chops and elusiveness to cut it as a third down back in the NFL. His path to a rushing role is still far in the distance, but he showed that he could at least make some magic happen against backups when he jolted for a pair of long touchdowns as a rookie during last year's preseason. It was enough to make the team. He's shown trustworthy third down back. Ran a 4-5-3 in the 40, but looked a lot faster on long touchdown runs. Here's the bad. Even in limited snaps, Dotson was not able to spark for a, a Chargers run offense that was abysmal in 2023. He couldn't get him even on the field really last year when the run offense wasn't that good. Takes you over to Vidal, who is named the second best rookie running back in 2024. He was drafted in the sixth round, but has an opportunity to be really good if he's in there with J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, and now you've got a rookie sixth round pick. So do you keep him? I think you do. I think these are your top three. Then do you keep another running back after that? What do you really have in the running back room? Because I thought, um, I thought, Isaiah Spiller really didn't have a chance. Spiller is a draft pick of the previous staff, but I don't see a run-centric staff quickly giving up on a former fourth-round pick who was productive in the SEC. So I think you keep Spiller. That means Dotson's out. So let me know your thoughts in the comments and, and what you think as far as the running back room because it's going to be pretty interesting to see what they do there. And again, that's why we're at 90 men right now. Got to get down to 53. But more than that, it's more the depth pieces. Who do they keep? Who do they shift around? I think that's going to be really good. Now, a couple other things here. Here are two guys, two chargers who will become starters in the 2024 season. Now, Tareeb still, we've talked a lot about him on this channel. Um, still was the first of two cornerbacks taken by the chargers in the fifth round of the 24 draft. We did, you can look back at the videos of this, but basically he was a big time standout, impressed in OTAs, mini camp, right here. His OTAs and mini camp, his physicality and playmaking ability really stood out. He got the defense app amped up on more than one occasion, arguably was the most impressive rookie outside of the team's first two picks. That's huge. And if you're a Chargers team that's trying to reboot and go in a different direction, it's going to be these later round picks, these back of the roster guys that we're talking about, Elijah Dotson. Those guys got to step up, really provide some depth and some juice for this team. Because again, we've talked about it a million times, but you've got the blue chip players on this team. You actually do, which is really exciting. Obviously, the quarterback. And then you go down the list and there's some really good veteran players. It's these guys that really make something happen. And, and then your defensive tackle that it's like, let's go. Uh, Justin Ibogbe was not a player that fans thought would be on the Chargers radar when they selected him in the fourth round. Let's go. Fourth round, they're able to get him. 
And so we've talked about this. The interior of the defensive line is the one weakness on defense because you've got Bosa and Mack. Then you've got Junior Colson and a little bit more depth in the linebacker room. Then you've got Derwin James, Asante Samuel. So everything's good kind of defensively, really. But the defensive tackle position really got to step up. And this is where you could have somebody do that. So I love that. And this is what Jesse Minter had to say about the defense. He said, we want to accentuate our strengths. Perfect way to say it. You have strengths and you have weaknesses. Do whatever you do well, really, really well. I think that's life. That's whether you own a restaurant. If you if you make really good ribs, make them out of this world. Doesn't, you know, like don't try to be really good with coleslaw and everything else. Just like we make really good ribs. Everybody knows us for that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be really good at it. That's what Jesse Mentor is going to be all about. Every year I've been coordinator, our strengths are different. It's not always the same. In the NFL, you have a chance at times for it to stay a little bit more consistent because you can keep guys on the roster. But we want to build on our strengths, their strengths of our defense. Let them affect the game, do things that they do really well, and try to let them have the best years that they've had and thrive in our defense. And again, I think Jesse Mentor is a great choice because of his ability to understand these things um it's not about how much you can do it's what do we do well and let's let's do it really well like let's go it just makes total sense so all eyes will be on mentor to lead this group into an elite unit and his new edge rushers will be responsible for lower for the lower change charge excuse me the group contains three vital veterans bosa mac and dupree I talked about the veterans. You have blue chip veteran players. Those three have combined for 221 sacks. They know how to get to the quarterback. What if Mac it gives you one more year? What if Bosa stays healthy? What if Bud Dupree still has it? Man, that, that changes everything. Thule still has it. Or Thule doesn't. He's, he's young. Has emerged as one of the Bolts' better defenders. Let's go. What if he can just be who they hope he can be? So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. It's finally time for training camp. If you're new to the channel, if you watched a few videos by now, would love if you hit that subscribe button. Um, going for 10,000 subs on this channel, all about the LA Chargers. So make sure you subscribe. Training camp is right around the corner and that's gonna be really fun because OTAs were cool. Mini camps were cool. Just listening to Harbaugh, listening to you know, a new, new facility, like everything's just, changing but now training camp really feels like an opportunity to like let's get in there figure some things out and let's go forward and try to win this division why not you got the quarterback got the coach make it happen so let me know your thoughts in the comments and we will see all of you on the next one